rich and furriest in the infamous town of Furry Wood Hill. Celebrities, fast cars, mansions, more scandals and dramas than you could count on four paws. And that's just my family, the Barkingtons. I'm Margaret Barkington, Margie to my friends. Former Hollywood actress with four Dog Actors Guild Awards under my collar. Now, though, I'm a novelist who mostly goes by Mom! Grandma! Or What Times is Dinner? I live with my husband, Arthur, who was once a very famous spaghetti western actor. You might remember him from A Paw Full of Dollars with Clint Eastwood. Arthur's a grumpy old dog now who needs constant care. So I was over the moon when my entire family moved in, and I thought I'd get some help, unfortunately. They had their own things going on. First, there's my son, Bob, his lovely wife, Betty, and their two pups, Billy and Susie. Bob always wanted to be a professional stunt performer, but he struggled to get work. So instead, he runs Slobber's Car Wash while practicing his dangerous stunts in his spare time. Betty made her name on the reality show Keeping Up With The Car Chasers. Since then, that show got canceled, so she's become an influencer, whatever that means. Sometimes I wish she'd influence her pups to clean up more. Now, the pup, Billy and Susie, like any siblings, they're constantly barking at each other. Little Susie wants to be a pop singer and Billy wants to be a rock star. So you can imagine how often they clo clash. And they seem to get themselves in a lot of trouble for two youngsters. And talking of trouble, we all regret inviting Betty's dad, Grandpa Max, to move in. He's an old war vet and former oil tycoon from Texas who complains all day. He drinks and smells up our home. Seriously, he could really do with a doggy bath. As if things couldn't get worse, my drama queen, Sarah, has just moved back in following a very public divorce from her celebrity chef, ex-husband, Husky Bigmore. Sarah was an actress known for her femme fatale roles in Furrywood blockbusters, but <laughs> the roles have since dried up, and she's now stuck in a contract doing TV commercials for her ex-husband's dog food company, Puccio's. <laughs> Despite this, she can't help stopping, causing drama, and constantly trying to stay in the limelight. She flirts with the neighbors and generally gets on everybody's nerves. Well, that's, that's my life, which is about to become a book if I don't shut up. And the book's entitled Tales from Furrywood, where one thing is for sure, despite all the wealth, sports cars, extravagant parties, scandals, and over-the-top glamorous lives, the drama never ends in Furrywood. Well, let me change that. The drama never ends in the Barkington pothole. Yeah, yes, I think that's better. Woof.